Hi, so let's send some UDP data and receive some UDP data as well as do some conditions today. Okay, we're just going to grab a plain UDP here in our library, in our protocols. We grab UDP module and another one. And we're going to send it to our localhost, that's our center port 64552, that's fine, port receive. We can hook that up to a special network adapter that we have on our machine that we can give the IP address here. And let's call that sender. And that should be our receiver. Receiver. Okay. Same thing, local host. I'm just going to turn that around so we have 6451 and the receiving port, more important thing, is 6452. So we have that. Okay. So next thing we might want to do is just create a user interface. Let's do a button and a slider so it just can send UDP data um, via button and a fader. Okay, the button, let's do that. We will need want to trigger the plain UDP sender and we want to send data, yes. Okay, next thing is we want to send a message, so we want to print hello. And that can be anything um, that the UDP receiver just actually understands. So, okay, let's store that and we come over to our fader. It's going to be the same thing. Plain UDP sender, that's our module. We want to send data to you and we want to trigger the send action. And there's a message once again. And we just leave that open because the value is supposed to be. Um, Determinate by the, by the by the fader. So let's store that in our inspector here. Might want to send just integer values. Okay, that's just me. Okay, so we'll do initialize on the UTP sender and initialize on the UTP receiver. In the next upcoming versions, you will see a just a checkbox that says um, auto initialize and you can check that on or off so you don't have to do that every time that you have some changes. So, okay. And as you might have seen, it sends the hello and we receive hello once more. Same thing with the fader. We're getting the values, we're sending the values here, and we're receiving the values. That's fine. Okay. So next thing we might want to do is we might uh, just send like static data. And um, we have a small module that's called simple string static data. It's, it does nothing else but let me input values in here. So I'm gonna put my hello here. And whenever I have to, I just trigger that action and that's going to pass on the value. I'm just going to put it into our sender here. That might be anything that's coming out of the manual um, or the string that our UDP receiver actually expects. And it's like a small library. And once I'm done with the library, I could even store that um, you know, let's do the right click and export it um, as, as another module to the library. Let's say it's a UDP receiver that you use lots of times and there's no module and you don't want to redo the files over and over again. Just export that to your library so you have a separate module that you created. So that could be like a play. And Let's go and do another one, and let's um, let's say that we actually could send that to to given queue. Okay, so we could do um, numbers here as well, but um, that's the thing that actually refers to Lua. Um, just 
try to keep that separated. Uh, if you want to have numbers, pure numbers you want to send, just you know pull in a, a second simple string of static data and send that via a second module. Okay. Um, so let's initialize once more and now we send hello. Let's send hello. Ah, uh, that was me. Put into send. Obviously, I want to connect the play and the queue all to my sender. And let's see if um, yep, play q one. Okay, now I'm triggering that. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to send it via queue. So inside of our Pixera module, let's go and grab time on one. Um, ba -ba -ba, let's go down, get queues, and I'm just going to grab Q1. And once more, I'm going to connect the apply state to hello. Okay. So now that we have, um, let's see, um, okay. Now let's see, once we hit Q1, we should trigger this uh, hello and that should be received all over. Yeah, and it's coming right up there. So far, I did you see that? Okay, good. Um, Maybe I don't want to do that with all the queues. Let's say I have like tons of queues that I just want to connect. And once more, we want to have the uh, automatic way to give us the queue applied, applied states. So we're going back to our tools, grab queue applied actions, pop in timeline on one. Okay. Refresh. And now we're having all the queues that we're seeing actually in the timeline one. If you apply new queues here, just hit refresh and it will show up in order. Okay, so let's say we want to have Q2 and Q3. Trigger the da static data here. Okay, so let's uh, we need to reinitialize, initialize. Okay, so let's see if that works. Yep. Q2, yep, Q3, sending Q1. Okay, might get confusing, but no, oh, so let's let's just do that. Okay, um, good. So we are sending out our data and we are actually receiving the data. Now, one thing, one last thing we would like to do is we would like to react to the incoming data. So um, let's go and grab a new module. And for the sake of it, we're going to take a, another new module. And now we're going to create an action. Uh, and we're going to call that hello. And we know that we're going to expect a value. So um, just type that in so we can route that value. Okay, gonna add an action and that's gonna be play val that that val just you know that could be any any wording. Okay, and another one that's gonna be Q one, Q three, whatever. And well okay, good. Now we want to route our data. So the receiving is going into our first action of the module. Now what we would like to have is we would like to have a dependency. So I, w I want that incoming connection to actually check the value. Okay, so we're gonna do a right click and we're gonna set a condition. And we can pop in anything here. We can, you know, it's like just type in values or strings or whatever so we are going to check for hello okay good 
So, and we're gonna receive one. Well, let's just to see what actually we do receive. Receive two, two, well, just another one. Receive three. Well, oops, typo. Whatever. You get the point. Okay. So, and that is going here. And this could be anything. That could be an action to trigger something to to send data out of Artnet. Anything. Okay. Now, we need to define a dependency from hello to our action that's called play. So we do right click on that play action and we tick use as else for action hello. Now we create a dependency here. So what happens is we're going to pass on that value that's coming in here and this action is going to check if it's hello Everything else is going to, you know, it's like trigger that output here. But I want to have a condition here as well. I just want to tick that um, output if my play arrives. If it doesn't come, I don't want it to do anything. Maybe you've seen here that this actually just changed. So this is uh, just generating code automatically into that action. Next thing I want to have is I want to have another dependency because we have three states that are actually coming in here. Q1, so we're going to do the same thing, use as else for play. So we are going to set another dependency from Q, from, from play action to the Q action. So use as else for play. So everything that comes through here is going to end here and um, you know, this could go on and on and on, but actually I want to have another condition. Um, that's my Q1 setting that could arrive here. Um, and I just want Q1 to trigger my action three over here or my receive three over here. Um, if it's just an um, else, then everything else from hello or play would trigger my q1 state and maybe that's not a thing that i would like to do so i'm gonna in it in it and let's see what happens let's do q1 and we should should see a receive one here yep and we're seeing hello is coming right up so let's see q2 see if that works and we should see the play here yep works and we do a q3 and should have some typo here yeah i think i know what my mistake is in it in it okay and q arrive or q1 arrives here so so now we gone through the sending of you to pay data receiving of you to pay fee data have some kind of like static data that we can send and re-trigger every time we need that state to be sent over to a UPTP output um, we had our q applied actions and we had uh, the the conditions and the else so if then else methods right here to distinguish between um, um, actions and values and strings and then we have the receive over here that's it thank you